Hey guys, it's Amanda. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my very first haul. So bear with me. I'm excited, but also I don't totally know what I'm doing because I don't watch a lot of these. So I hope that you like it anyway. I wanted to do this haul in particular because I really love organizing and storage, but for me, I don't love spending a ton on it just because right now we are looking for a house to buy, so I don't know what my new craft space will look like, and I don't want to invest a bunch of money on something that I might want to change later. So I often go to Daiso, which is a $1.50 Japanese store. I always seem to stop in and grab a lot of the same supplies because I like them so much. So I decided this time to share with you what I got. I got some of my staples that I always get and I also got some new stuff that is craft or art related that I want to try out and I thought I'd share with you guys. So my number one thing that I always get are these A4 size document cases. These are awesome. I put projects in here that I am still working on. I put scrap paper in there. I put my fancier cardstocks like my 110 and my Nina cardstocks. I have an Etsy shop, so a lot of my finished products that I have packaged up and ready to go, I keep in here because it protects it. The cons to this, because again, it's only $1.50 for these. The cons, it's not super, super sturdy. I mean, you can kind of squeeze it and that's okay. If you have really heavy stuff in there, you're gonna wanna support it. And then the other con, these little latches here, they latch really, really well. Like they, you can see like they're not, they're not coming undone, however, they are removable, so sometimes they will snap off. And you can see that there's this, and then there's this, and this little bump here, this is the top. This is where you like pull it down. So these have popped off, especially when I'm opening and closing them a ton, they just kind of loosen. But they're really easy to just pop back in, and you're good to go. And they don't really pop out or off very often so this isn't something that is a huge deal for me again because it's only a dollar fifty and it's so useful so I'm okay with that until I decide to switch over to a higher quality and more permanent storage solution and then for embossing powder I have been trying a few different things out uh, a lot of this stuff actually won't work for embossing powder because it's not totally sealed and so the powder can kind of sprinkle out. However, this one, this one's a plastic one and it does hold the embossing powder really well. And let me go ahead and unwrap it so I can show you that it is pretty easy to get on and off so if you have trouble opening containers this is a good one to have again it's only $1.50 so you do kind of have like a wonky little lid but it seals so I think it's okay so for the other part of the embossing powder storage that I found is this glass container this seals really well the embossing powder stays in it doesn't come out at all the lid is really easy to get on and off. Again, it's plastic, but this is, you pay a little bit more, so you can see it's not warped at all. So these two right here, definitely recommend, for sure. So on to another part of the storage, which are vinyl pouches. I have a ton of these. So they have a bunch of different sizes. These are the ones I purchased this weekend. I like using the bigger ones. When I travel, I like to pack some cardstock in there, markers, any kind of craft supplies. These are pretty durable. I haven't had any kind of an issue with the bag itself. 
I will say the downfall to these are sometimes the little pull here, the zipper pull, will come off. So I have one, well I can't even find it, but I have one where it's come off and then I just put another little charm or key ring on there and it's fine. And then also sometimes these can pop off. I've had it happen on a couple, but to me that's not a big deal. So I like this size for some of my bigger projects or to go. And then there is the B6 and I like to use this for ephemera and stuff like that. The other thing that I really like is this tiny version. It's so small. I think it's so cute. And this I keep uh, my Cricut tools that I don't go to often so I have some some of my markers. I store a lot of my Cricut tools in my Cricut but the overflow or things that I don't go to that's what I use. I do believe they have a larger size than even this one but I'm not sure. So this one is for, for my Tombow markers because I'm building my collection so I don't have a ton yet and I don't want to invest in a marker container that I might not need because maybe I don't use these that much. Plus the room is an issue for us right now so being able to lie these down flat I really love all the different sizes that you can get and again they're only a dollar fifty. Okay so next up are more bags but these are clear bags. I like to use these for things that I've die cut out and I want to keep with my stamp set. I tend to stamp out a bunch of stuff and die cut it out so I have it for later. And this is a great way to keep all that stuff together. I will say the one thing that this doesn't have, so see how you can open this and it has the sticky on there? These don't. These are just little pocket sleeves, so they don't have anything, but if you do want to seal them, you can add some double-sided tape and do that, or you can add just regular tape or washi tape and it seals really well. So I really like this size for the smaller stuff, and then these guys just for any larger scraps of powdered paper that I like to keep organized with my kits. Okay, the other thing are these present bags. So these are pretty similar to these, but you get the different size. And they're a little bit thicker. They're a little bit thicker of a plastic, so they are more durable and they won't crinkle as much if you do want to use ties or add some ribbon around there. Okay, so I'm gonna set those aside and then the last two bag type things are these guys. I love them. They're so cute. These ones are just, I guess they're not really that cute to, to the common person, but to me, and hopefully to some of you crafters out there, I think it's cute. They're just these little white kind of little bags. You can fold them over and put some washi tape on them like that, or you could fold them over towards the back. But I love these, and I'm excited to try some stamping on there, and maybe some drawing. Okay, and then this one. I think these are so cute. They're like little mini lunch bag style gift bags, but they're pretty heavy duty. They're so stinking cute. I think these would be perfect for party favors or just any kind of little gift. You could flip them over and put a little mini clothespin there or again, use some washi tape or a cute seal. You can stamp this up, add stickers. So those two little things, they're not, <laughs> they're not storage, but they're super cute, super, super cute. And since that's kind of gift related, I did want to show that I got these really, really cute little bows. You can get 11 of them in here and they're only $1.50. I got these because my daughter's 10th birthday is coming up and I definitely want to use some of these on her gifts. And they also do have blue. 
Okay, and next I am going to show you some of the washi tape that I got. This I got last time, but I wanted to show you the really pretty floral pattern. And then I, I got this cool striped rainbow style one. And this stuff is really great. It's really good quality. I've used some inexpensive washi tapes and they stick to the roll and they don't stick well on paper. But so far in my experience, I have not had any issues and have been totally happy. So definitely check it out. They have a bunch of different styles. They have a lot of polka dots and some plain. Worth taking a look and picking one up if you are a washi tape fan. Okay, next I want to talk about these sticky notes. I write a lot of ideas down on them, measurements, quantities, reminders. I'm sharing these because they are a great value. I think sticky notes are really helpful in the craft world. And these in particular are really good quality. They peel away from the paper and they stick down really well. They don't peel up once you stick them down. They're great. So finding these has saved me a lot on sticky notes, so make sure you check them out. Okay, now I want to share some miscellaneous items that I picked up that I haven't tried before. I found these really cute little ribbon roses, so I'll definitely be trying these out on an art project coming up. I don't know how well they will stay together, but we'll find out. Next is this painting knife. I recently picked up some texture paste that I want to try out. I have a few mixed media ideas, but I don't have a lot of supplies, so I have been picking up inexpensive things here and there, and when I saw this, I thought I'd try it out. It's only $1.50, so if it doesn't work, it's no big loss. All right, and then I picked up these microfiber cloths. I have heard that microfiber cloths are great for resist effects when you need to wipe away ink. I don't know how this particular brand will work. I'm not sure if this is the right kind of microfiber, but I thought I would try it out. I did also see some neon orange in the car section. So if these don't work out well, I will probably give those other ones a try just to see if they're different. Alright you guys, that is it for the haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and comment down below letting me know. If you would like to see more videos from me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye!